Good evening, third graders. Mia, Mrs. Richards, and Monk. I am your Pipaj culture teacher. And let me start off by saying I am very excited to teach you this year. Also, I want you to know that whether you are a new student, a student I've had in previous years, or an adult that is helping your student, my door is always open. Feel free to reach out to me and ask for help whether it's on pronunciations, understanding the meanings of a word, anything at all, I am always willing to help. Also, I hope you all come into this new school year with an open mind and heart to learn new things. I also want you to know that I feel, I feel all languages are equally important, whether it's Autumn, Pipash, Spanish, English, Navajo, or whatever. I feel no language or culture is more important than the other. So with that, I hope you enjoy this lesson and I can't wait to see the work you guys do. Come doom. Today's Pipash lesson is going Come over doom. traditional greetings. In the Pipash language, there are modern time of day greetings such as good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. But a long time ago, those terms were not used. More frequently, it was simply asked, how are you, to greet someone. And as in any language or culture, it is considered good manners to ask how someone is. So, when talking to one person and to ask how are you in Pipash, you would say, come doom. Why don't you try? Hotik. Good. Nya Hotik. Next. I'm good. We are going to hotik. respond by saying good. I'm good. Nya Hotik. And to say that, good. you will need to become familiar with the Mani. Kipash letter X. And you? Which makes the Mani. sound. Oh. Why don't you try making that sound? <sighs> So now, to say I'm good, you would say Nya Hotik. It would also be good manners to return the question. And how you say that, or how you do that, would you would say, manye. Why don't you try? Feel free to pause the video if you need to, to for more practice. Hey, Kira, come down. Here is an example of using the small conversation, the small greeting conversation. When speaking to a group, meaning three people or more, you would ask them, how are you all? Kamdushtik. You would say, how are you all? Kamdushtik. Now you try. Mani and you. Then, Mani. as a group, you would reply again. Hotik. Hotik. Good. Or nya yeah, hotik. hotik. I'm good. It, it is your preference. Hotik. Good. Nya yeah, hotik. I'm good. And again, it would be, be good manners to return the question. And how you would do that is by saying, and you. Mani. Here is an example of using the sentence Now we will, be, we will be going over single word commands in Pipash. Our first command we will be using is 
Ka'av. Ka'av. Which means to listen. Ka'av. This word is used when talking to one person. Practice saying Ka'av to yourself a few times. Okay, yeah, when you're trying to fix this, you gotta make sure. Hey, Ka'av. Ka'av can be. Make sure it's straight, okay? That way it don't mess up. Finally, we are going to use the command be quiet in Bibash. And how you say be quiet in is Kwerkeim. Practice saying Kwerkeim a few times to yourself. Where does this ring go? Can you want to say it again? Did you say what you said? Yeah. Come on, you what are you doing? What are you going to eat for dinner, Jasmine? I don't know. Summer, what are you going to eat for dinner? Ma, where's the camp? Come watch it. Oh, it was so crazy. I really uses Earthbending to help them. Niyun ha. That is the end of my lesson. But before I go, I want you to know that in Pipash, just like many other languages, we do not say goodbye. We say, I'll see you later. And how we say that is, Niyuntra. Now you try. And don't forget to make the Piposh X sound when using the alphabet. All right, thank you, boys and girls. Niyuntra.